just want you to take a look at the skin right now like it's glowing like I'm literally radiating from the inside like this skincare routine guys is is all that and this is no makeup bitch wear <laughs> under all that makeup I said bitch wear no makeup this is my natural skin so and welcome back to my channel it's your girl enabelle.com and today i'm gonna be taking you guys through a skincare my skincare routine video this is like my once a week skincare routine video skincare routine video um and by once a week i mean like i like this is like my intensive routine that i do like on weekends like i don't do this every day because Ain't nobody got time for that. My skin has been acting a little bit cray cray. Like, if you look closely, I got some like pimples right here. One, two, you know. I'm kind of breaking out. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why I'm breaking out, but they're just coming at full speed. So I was like, you know what? This is a perfect time for me to do a skincare routine video because my skin needs love right now because she is walling. Um, obviously my skincare needs are very different than everyone else's because every I don't have the same skin type as other people. I don't have acne prone skin. I don't have any other skin um, dilemmas like psoriasis and eczema and, and so on and so forth. So, you know, someone with those type of skin issues has different needs than I would. So this is a skincare routine that caters to what my skin needs and what I want to get out of my skincare routine. Let's just, just put that out there. Um, I'm really into brightening my skin. Like brightening is very important. I try to use a lot of products that brighten because I love having that really natural and radiant and glowy look on my skin. I like to step out with no makeup and look like I'm glowing like from the inside and obviously that has to do with drinking a lot of water so drink your waters even though i should be taking my own advice because some days i go without drinking water and that's not good but i have been trying i've been trying you know really hard um also i tend to get drier skin in the winter right now it's winter time in new york city so i am piling on the moisturizer because my skin be dry like my face skin is not as bad as the skin on my body. The skin on my body is super duper dry. Like, I just have really dry skin. So, I need to moisturize and hydrate as much as possible. Um, that's two. And three, I'm very big on evening out my skin tone. Um, evening out my skin tone is very important for me. I do not like... I do not like having discoloration and I don't suffer from discoloration that's like from acne marks or dark spots. My thing is that I tend to get from time to time like lighter, lighter areas on my face and others or manchas as we Dominicans call it. And it just happens from time to time and it's something that's been happening to me from a very young. But yeah, those are my skincare needs. Brightening, evening out my skin tone and hydrating my very dry skin so this is what my skincare routine is going to encompass and it's going to you know consist of products that cater to those needs so um i'm gonna be taking you guys through my skincare routine and i'm just gonna jump right in because i'm ready <laughs> that being said the first thing i'm gonna do is hydrate my lips okay um i am going to be using this Indie Beauty Buttercream Antioxidant Lip Scrub. This is not a... This is a product that I that I got, like, at a, at my sorority's uh, Secret Santa. We played a game where, like, products would pop out, and this was in there. Um, you can use any lip scrub of your choice, honestly. I don't even know anything about this brand and what it does, but this lip scrub is very awesome and very hydrating, and it's good to exfoliate my lips, which is what I needed to do. You can even do your own DIY lip scrubs. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do that. And you can also, there's also a lot of uh, infographics on Pinterest as well. And it's usually with like sugar and um, some sort of, uh, some sort of moisturizer like coconut oil or other things that you can create your own lip scrub with. But basically, lip scrub. Lip scrubbing and lip exfoliating is the first part of my skincare routine. This is what the product looks like. It literally comes in this little tub. It's like just cute. And I'm just going to apply this to my lips. So I'm just going to 
take it and this is what it looks like inside by the way um the next part of my skincare routine is going to be a face mask masks are super important and very good for your skin um in the sense that you should you should try and do at least you know one to three masks a month people that do masks even more often like twice and three times a week um it depends what kind of mask because if you're doing like a charcoal mask per se that can be extremely abrasive or like a mud mask can be extremely abrasive on your skin to be doing it so often so it it depends but you know like a hydrating mask is not that bad um but yeah masks are super important i feel for skincare they give your skin that extra love and and care and tenderness that it needs so um i love doing face masks and they're very relaxing as well um, and it feels sometimes like you're doing an at home like facial or spa time when you apply a mask which I love so and I'm gonna be using the Skin-esque Brightening Plus mask and it is a mask that brightens, balances and hydrates which is great because as I mentioned in my intro I love anything that hydrates my skin and I love anything that brightens my skin so this is like my needs and all my needs in one and this is a this is what the mask pro the mask packaging looks like and i got this in i got this as a gift um it came in a box of five and i am up to this is my second to last one so i'm sad um i'm not sure how much this retails for because like i said i got it for a gift and i didn't look up the cost of it but i feel like this is kind of a little more on the more expansive side this is a three-step mask so it comes with three little different compartments you know step one step two step three and the first part is a gentle foaming cleanser the second part is like a, a moisturizer or like a cream base and the third part is actually applying the the mask on so mask on okay sorry i had to do that um so I'm going to start with the first step and you can easily detach these from the packaging. So I'm going to do that so that I don't ruin anything. I'm just going to detach these. <clears throat> then so I have all three of my little things here and I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. So this is a so step one is the. There's a face wash and it says it's a gentle foaming cleanser with papaya and apple extracts. And I'm just going to read the back of this to you guys. It says this gentle cream um, based cleanser deeply cleanses and removes impurities for clear and smooth skin. Papaya and apple extracts naturally, na naturally exfoliate the skin to reveal a bright complexion. So this is what this cleanser is supposed to do. Um, and I have used this face mask before once and I loved it. So i um, just going to show you guys um how this mask works and i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face so i'll be right back I'm going to dry my face with a bounty as uh, we Dominicans call it because we call things by the brand name not what they actually are but a paper towel and the reason why I do this is because sometimes um, sometimes towels like tend to accumulate germs over time because you know they're hanging in bathrooms and the humidity and all that stuff so you know a good way of securing and making sure that you're not passing those germs onto your face so just dry your face after you wash it with a um, paper towel and you I just literally pat it on my face and soak up all the water second step in this um, in this mask is the hydra plus essence with a moisturizer or like um, cream and this says it has sodium bear with me I don't know if I'm pro pronouncing this right with sodium 
hyaluronate 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 i think that's how you pronounce it but basically the step to um the this moisturizing base what it says is that this essence is formulated with nia bear with me again niacinamide and bear with me again and uh, hmm, hmm, and adenosine to provide intense hydration for healthy and supple skin sodium sodium hyaluronate retains moisture to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and protects the skin against environmental stress so this is pretty much like a moisturizer or a nice hydrating cream which you're supposed to apply before you apply the mask so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna open this up and then apply it all over my face. It has a very um jelly, it's like a it's like a liquid jelly consistency. I don't know how to explain it. It like feels very um it feels very hmm. It feels like a thinner gel. Making sure to bring it down to the neck because, you know, the neck needs just as much love as the face does. You don't want to have a young looking face and an old looking neck. So. So now I'm taking step three, which is the face mask. And this is a brightening charcoal black mask and it's the last step. Um, and the description in the back of this says, um, Skin Next Brightening Plus Mask is made of oak tree charcoal. Its microcellular structure firmly bonds to the face. Deeply absorbing toxins and impurities and allows for the essence to penetrate deeply into the skin. Natural extracts exfoliate dead skin cells and hydrate the skin to reveal a bright and luminous complexion. So this uh, mask pretty much brightens while at the same time you're removing impurities and removing all the gunk from your face because it has charcoal and that's what charcoal does. Um, when you ever do a charcoal mask, charcoal mask is supposed to kind of like extract all the gunk that you have under on the surface of your skin or under your pores out. Um, so this is awesome. Uh, and like I said, I have used this mask before and I loved it. So I'm very excited to be using this again. And I am just going to rip this open and apply this mask. Um, leave the mask on for 15 through 20 minutes. So I'm going to put this on my skin for, I'm going to do the, the, the latter, so I'm going to do the longer time. Um, I'm going to do the 20 minutes because my skin needs some love. It needs some love. So I'm back and now it's time to take this off. So I just, I lasted 20 minutes with this mask on. I kind of went a little overboard. I did like 25 minutes, um, but it's okay because... This mask actually says that you do not rinse off the contents. So um, I guess whatever this mask, well not. So what, whatever's in this mask is good to leave on your skin. So you actually, you know, usually when you apply sheet masks, you have to like wash the contents of your face. But with this one, you don't have to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub, you know, rub a dub dub. Rub it in making sure it sinks deep into my pores because why not i don't want it to just sit on the top layer of my skin i want it to just really get in there so and excuse my hair guys um i washed my hair and um i wanted to record this video um so i just literally put my washed hair in a bun and kept it pushing so that's why I look a little crazy right now. But it's okay, you know. This is all natural. This is the real me. You know, I'm not out here fronting for the camera. Acting like I'm perfect because I'm not. Hello, imperfections. What's good? Um, you gotta embrace your natural beauty. So that's what I'm doing. So my face has dried and the product has really sunk into my skin. I'm gonna start applying my cream based products or like just my products overall that I apply for my skincare routine. First thing that I'm gonna go in with is my Derma E Even Tone Brightening Day Cream um, with SPF 15. Um, it's very important if you're trying to achieve uh, an even skin tone and prevent hyperpigmentation to use um, a cream in the daytime that has SPF. SP and this is because the sun's UVB and UVA rays are very damaging to the skin. Um, as I mentioned before, that was one of the problems that I had. Like the sun was just really causing a lot of hyperpigmentation for me. Um, it causes aging and it just overall just like unevens your skin tone. So if you're trying to achieve bright and healthy looking skin and also stay young, 
you need to use products in the daytime that have SPF even when it's cloudy outside because when it's cloudy outside you have UV there's it's UVA rays when it's sunny and I believe it's UVB rays when it's cloudy so the sun is still them rays are still peeking through those clouds like don't get it twisted like don't think because it's cloudy you're safe you're not those UVB rays are actually even more damaging so uh, make sure you apply that SPF I purchased this at TJ Maxx um, for very cheap and I got it because the packaging said what I like to hear which is SPF even tone brightening so my favorite words so I saw that and I was like let me try it because I was trying a different moisturizer before and it was just not working for me it was not hydrating enough for my skin so I decided to buy this and I love this so much <laughs> I love this moisturizer so much like this has been a match in heaven for me um, my skin has improved significantly since using this um, I just all oh, my skin just looks so glowy and fresh and radiant and hydrated now more than it's ever looked before so this moisturizer is bomb um, and I'm just applying four little amounts of this I'm gonna put some under my neck as well because again important bring products down to your neck guys very important and I'm gonna rub this all over my skin and I'm going to be using a product that has been working for me amazingly in the past couple months since I've been using it. Um, and this is the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension. And this is what the product looks like. It comes in this little packaging. I have been using this product for, hmm, for like maybe four to five months. And it has been working for me incredibly. This is basically like a vitamin C serum. But it's extremely affordable because vitamin C is usually pretty costly. Like you usually don't find any vitamin c serums for less than ten dollars and like the drunk Ele is it the drunk elephant is that the brand there's one that's like retails for 45 dollars and it's something elephant and it's like raved about but that's so expensive so i could not afford that so i decided to look up vitamin c serums that were really good and were inexpensive and i found the brand the ordinary and this brand is very inexpensive like this is only seven to eight dollars um which is bomb and it's all natural and it's great and i have been loving it there's a lot of benefits of using vitamin c for your skin it evens on your skin tone it um it brightens it uh it helps a lot with hyperpigmentation and it's just overall very very good for your skin so you should always i really recommend everyone use um, start to include i really recommend everyone to start including vitamin c in your skincare routine um because it is bomb it is really really good i take a little bit of this vitamin c suspension i'm just gonna dab, put it on my um Put it on my fingertips and i'm just gonna dab 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 again just dab this on my skin and then i'm just gonna rub this all over it also helps with aging as well and wrinkles and fine lines so get you some vitamin c get you some vitamin c guys it's it's really good like really really good so the next thing that I'm going to do is apply an under eye product and the product that I use is the Ole Henriksen, Ole Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Gel and this is a product that lifts, firms and deep puffs um, and it's good for under your eyes and around your eye area and this is what the product looks like. I'm just literally applying this under my eyes being very careful that you be very careful when you're applying like eye creams that you're not putting it like into your eyeball because that burns really bad. And I'm just bringing it up here too as well because we're trying to lift and firm the entire eye area so okay and my last step of my skincare routine is applying this the ordinary brand again um, rose hip seed oil um, and I use many different oils I also use sometimes this Niacchio Beauty um, Manchetti and Manfora anti-aging oil that's good for like restoring your skin um, but today I'm not gonna be using this because since I'm already using the ordinary product or I can actually combine both yeah actually that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna combine both of these oils because why not you know um, this will help with the anti-aging which you know they say it's very good to start applying anti-aging products in your 20s because um, the more you take care of your skin now the less aging will ca it will cause in the future so start using anti-aging products now if you guys are in your 20s as i am because it's very very good for you so first i'm going to go in with the ordinary brand 
um, 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. Um, and this is just an oil. Um, you can't see it because, I don't know, my camera's just not picking this up right now. And, um, yeah, it's a rose hip seed oil and it's really good for your skin. Rose hip seed oil is very good for brightening your skin, um, which is something that I love to do, which is why I decided to start using this oil um, and include it as a part of my um as a part of my skin routine and then the Niakio beauty oil as I mentioned already is an anti-aging oil um, and it's very good um, and Niakio beauty is a black owned brand owned by a woman of color so it's very it's very important to support uh, these brands and these companies because it's definitely not easy and this is a cruel, cruelty free and organic brand so it's very good and I got this when I was working at Ulta my boss gave it to me because she got it for free and she didn't want to use it so she just gave it to me and I have been loving it ever since so I'm just rubbing these oils all over my face as you know my hands are washed because I washed my face earlier so and I'm just literally applying this all over my face just rubbing it in making sure it gets in there so you guys got to see all the products that I use in my bi-weekly like intensive um, skincare routine and um, as you guys can as you guys saw I always use something to exfoliate my lips first then I use a mask and then I use um, multiple products creams and oils um, to really uh, fulfill all my skincare needs this is how I achieve fresh glowy hydrated you know radiant skin um and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys were able to learn some tips and tricks um from it not only that but also um learn about new products and hopefully you can purchase these new products um not these new products but purchase these products for yourself and hopefully they can do for you what they do for me so thank you so much for watching um and i'll check you guys later Deuces.